Okay, so Valentine's Day is over, but that doesn't mean that you can't keep the love going year round, right? So we'll talk about that if every day should be Valentine's Day. Plus rapper Cardi B's hot take on the holiday. Now she tweeted that men do deserve to get gifts, but they have to be less expensive than the girl's gifts. She says, if he buys you flowers, you buy him grass. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do we agree with that? I'm going to let LaDawn go first because she She's the love expert here, after mm -hmm. all, right? So, LaDawn, what do you think? Well, you know, we have to be honest. The Valentine's Day really is about the women. Mm -hmm. It is. You can get your guy a nice gift, but it really is about the gift that the woman gets. And the truth is, I agree with Cardi. You know, the gifts have to be sort of equal on mm -hmm. some level. And if they're not, and if he's not giving you what you need, then he doesn't get anything. He gets weak. Oh. oh, see? <laughs> okay, Lady T, go ahead. What do you think? Man, I mean, I can't agree more because I was like, I mean, you never know what he's going to get you, you know? So, of course, you're just kind of ballparking anyway. But, I mean, not saying that grass is correct, but if he does give you a Louis Vuitton, some, some, you are going to give him probably something from Dollar Tree because that's all you could afford at the time. You know what I'm saying? See, so, then... it's called balance. It's the balance of life. It's a circle of life. We saw it in The Lion King, okay? It is what it is. And then there's that. <laughs> Okay, so Amy, you weigh in because you have a birthday that kind of coincides with Valentine's Ooh, Day, yeah. too, right? It's a busy weekend in my household, and my poor boyfriend has to do it all all weekend long. You know, the flowers, the cake, the dessert, the cooking, mm -hmm. the dinner, going out to dinner, everything is packed into one weekend, so it's a lot. But, but for Valentine's Day, I do think everybody should do a little something for someone else, too. Mm -hmm. So I got the flowers. I got him chocolate-covered strawberries. I oh. did eat one of them, but I think that's, I think that's a fair trade there. Oh. I, I agree. I think, I mean, it is, it, yes, you should certainly celebrate your guy, right? Let him know that it's a day of love. It's a day for you to show everybody yeah. you love them, right? I mean, baskets right. for the but kids. But not grass, right? At, not at least, grass. like, I don't think grass, but it definitely the weeds that are coming out of it. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> agree with that. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's love day. It so, is. Yeah, all around. <laughs> all right. Well, now it's time for you to tell it. Do you agree with Cardi B? Should men's Valentine's Day gifts be less expensive than women's gifts? Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote and let us know or go to the Fox 45 News app. Under Explore, you can find the spot the, to vote there. And at the end of the show, we'll see what everyone thinks. Okay, well, an eight-year-old border collie will be living the good life in Nashville. Lulu inherited $5 million in her owner's will. Now, her caretaker says the dog's owner, Bill Doris, was a successful businessman who was not married. He died late last year. And his will states that the money should be put into a trust for Lulu's care. Now, the caretaker says the man just really loved the dog. So what do we think? Is this really sweet or just irresponsible? Trifling. You think, I, I think it's his money. You know what? So I, I think it would be mm -hmm. nice if he donated some to charity or something right. like that. But you, it's his money. Like, if there was nobody in his life mm. to, for him to feel like except Lulu. But my question is, is it really going to Lulu? Like, is Lulu going to be, you know, fanned with palm leaves? Or no. Caretaker Lulu is not be? swiping a, a black AMX card, OK? Lulu is not swiping any kind of credit card or anything like that. Lulu can't go to the store and do all that. So no, I don't, I don't agree with this. And this irks me when people d do this. I don't know why. It just gets my blood boiling. Because, you know, it, it, what is a dog going to do with that kind of money? <laughs> Live the good life. He got a lot of steak to eat. I mean, it's going to be a lot of treats, but that's it. A lot of treats. <laughs> I mean, I love my dog. I think I would maybe give some money to my dog if something happened to me, mm -hmm. but that's a lot. Maybe, like, donate to a charity or, you know, like yeah. a, do a dog adoption place mm -hmm. and then give Lulu the rest so Lulu right. can live. Right. Now, that I can life. understand, giving some of it. I see some that. Some of it. I see yeah. that, too. LaDawn, what do you think? You know what? I understand. Some people don't have relationships. They don't have a partner. Mm -hmm. They don't have kids. They don't have family that they like. So they're going to leave it to the dog. So I would leave a portion to the dog. And like a lot of you said, definitely some, maybe a pet nonprofit mm -hmm. or something like that. But the right. dog doesn't need five million. Mm -mm. Right. For sure. Side note, though, is a dog looking for a friend? That's what I was going <laughs> to say. Is, is a dog looking for a